You got the touch. You got the power. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go with a review of Studio Series 86 Hot Rod from the 1986 Transformers movie. All right. So this right here, what you see in front of you is not supposed to come out and be in stores until February. But I was on the hunt and I was walking into Target and I seen a kid with Scourge in his hands from the Studio Series 86 line. I then went into Target and... They did not have anything. Zero Transformers on the shelf, 100% gone. Went over to the people. I was like, hey, can you check stock on this? See if you have any in the back. See if any other targets have any. And he checked, and he was like, this other target has six in hand. I was like, whoa. All right, so I drive to this other target a couple towns over, and this was not on the shelf. It was completely picked over just like the other Target. I was like, oh my god. I then went to the counter again and talked. Sorry, got cut off there. But I went to the counter and he was like, we do have some in the back. But I'm not sure if we're able to sell them yet. And I was like, well, I seen a kid walking out of the store at the other store with one of them. So then he's showing me pictures of what they have. And they had... Um, Grimlock, he was showing me that. I was like, but do you have Hot Rod, Jazz, or Cup? And then he was like, all right, we have Hot Rod. So then he went in the back. I waited 20 minutes, and then he came out with this. And I was like, yes. And then here we are right now. I was going to unbox it on camera, but I got too excited, and I had to open it right away. And I also wanted to do it nicely and not accidentally scratch something trying to be funny and entertaining and fast for a video. So here we go. Without further ado, let's get into the review of Transformers Studio Series 86 Hot Rod. So right here, I already have him holding the Matrix. This mini masterpiece right here that's better than the actual masterpiece. I have not had it, but I have seen it in person. And this is better. This is better. I know the fake out hood area here kind of has some people like, ah, but I mean, there's not really much they could do with that animation model to achieve that look other than to do that. So that doesn't really bother me. The main thing that bothers this for me, which if I get in into vehicle mode or just show it on the back of the box, I'll tell you then. But I wanted to just do some size comparisons right off the bat. I can't even talk because I'm like, damn. But We'll put them next to an Alicon. We will put RC right there. Like I said, I was not able to get Cup or Jazz. They were not there. They didn't have them in back, or he just didn't want to look any further. But I'm glad enough to have Hot Rod right here. Sunstreaker. I'm gonna throw in a lot of size comparisons here for you because that's one of the most. That's one of my favorite part of reviews is size comparisons. And um, I don't know if I'll review all these figures, but um, there's my Bumblebee. I already have a sticker and a 3D printed gun for Bumblebee, as you can see right there. And then Optimus Prime, of course. I'll move the Alicon back. And uh, I need to move the camera back for all them size comparisons. And then there's that little weird five below Bumblebee right over there that I decided to get for no reason other than, ah, that was before I got the freaking Netflix one from Walmart. So I was, I was fiending for a Bumblebee. But just look at this. That's awesome. It fits in so well. I actually have a rant review for him, but we'll get to that another time. This Hot Rod's the star of the show here. Just wanted to throw in those size comparisons. I'll even throw in one more sound wave in his alt mode. So there you go. Let's move Optimus Prime. Let's get him centered up again. And we will get into some of the features and some of my very small gripes with this figure right in front of me. So, right off the bat, you get these blast effects. I do wish that they were orange because in the movie, he shoots up at the Decepticons. So it would make more sense for these to be orange. Also in the underwater scene, he used these as well, and it was orange then. So that was probably just a miscommunication. Oh, wait, wait. 
it's actually because this is blue and everything has to be like on the same conveyor belt actually I forgot that they do those kinds of things and I will actually pop this off I don't want to put this on and off a bunch of times I think it would wear the paint down on the matrix but this matrix is different than the one in Optimus's chest it's the same mold but it's a different color I guess I'll show you Optimus's I'm not gonna pop it out it's kind of a pain but the blue is a different blue than the one in Optimus's chest. I don't know if anybody's showed that in their review of this, but I did want to throw that in. So it's not just the same Matrix. So I now have three Matrixes. I have the one from the Netflix one, this one, and Earthrise Optimus one. So three different Matrixes I have ended up with. But you also get the opening hand, just like Earthrise and Netflix Optimus. You do have this kind of hinge joint right here it's probably just due to transformation but it's kind of almost like a mock butterfly joint almost but it's kind of hindered by his chest but that's also just to kind of help him angle his arms to hold the matrix better so there's that and the hands being regular gray it just kind of looks a little weird next to the silver right there but it's not awful it's not like oh my god but I am glad that um, this is a good figure. I'm glad we finally have a good hot rod. I'm glad that I kind of wasn't into Transformers for a few years. I didn't get the power of the Primes or any of that stuff. This is the one to go with right here. It is just amazing in so many ways. And it's just great. It's really great. I do. Could you imagine if they released this as a deluxe price? I know they had to do... Voyager price because they did all these accessories and they're like we have to find a way to charge them more Because that's what they love to do, but it's still it's still a good figure and the accessories are they are good accessories He has nice painted guns And that's what he looks like with his guns On a little Western shootout and also with his goggles down that's retained from masterpiece as well as should I get into transformation I guess I will um, I'll go over the articulation really quick these hinges are really tight on mine right there those are pretty tight to move but I've I've dealt with worse I'd rather have it be tight than too loose but um, yeah not quite right right there so hopefully you don't run into that or run into it being too loose you have a double hinge at the knee you have this flap back here that kind of opens up when you're playing around with the leg but that's just for transformation and you also do have a waist swivel i did not know that until now until this review <laughs> but yes he has a waist swivel but let's see if I can transform him. I have not looked at instructions one time. I have not watched people transform him in videos either. So I'm going to just go for it. And hopefully I can do it in under three minutes. Will I be able to do it in under three minutes and wrap the video up between that time? We will find out in this video. But let's go. Supersonic fast. I won't get annoying on you. But um, even if I'm not able to, I'll just piece it together. I already have to piece the clips together because I ran out of storage on my phone at the beginning of this. So, yeah. Already have to do it. So, it'll probably go over that time. But if you're enjoying this, please be sure to drop a like. And at the end of this, check out the playlist. And if I do release this before my Gigawatt review, I'm sorry for all the people that are waiting for that giveaway. I know I keep saying I'm going to do it, which I already have the video recorded. But I keep getting so excited and want to get these other reviews out before that since that's already kind of been out a while. But no worries, it will happen. It will happen. And also for people that are new to this video, there is going to be a giveaway in the Gigawatt review. I'm not going to say what it is until I do the Gigawatt review. Also this clear plastic piece right here. Hopefully that will not cause issues in the future and hopefully I'm doing this right oh you know what we're actually not going to rush this review I'm just gonna put another cut there and show you a few different interesting things with the transformation and also one other negative that comes into play with the clear windshield being painted 
but right here how the headlights flip out they didn't even have that in a lot of the promotional pictures these properly flipped out is something i noticed when i was going to pre-order this online was they didn't even have it properly transformed in the pictures so that was something that i was a little bit worried about but i had seen other people with those flipped out so it was just they mistransformed it like they love to do but right here this part this clear plastic part this has to tab into the arm right here and that paint will most likely wear off over time and as you know clear plastic over time that could really snap so that's a little worrisome that I didn't really know about until I had this in hand you know you gotta kinda it's kinda fiddly to get all this properly tabbed in but there you go does it actually roll it actually rolls you know these crappy peg on wheels that they do these actually unlike my wheel jack this actually rolls but you can see that this this front one is painted but this back one is not because it's mostly covered by this but that is something i am noticing more things that i have not seen anybody point out but like i said this right here i don't know if i cut that part out or not but this right here should not be there they of course have the faulty advertising on the box like they always do they love to do that but it is not the right color they oh wait this part's actually gray on the box it looked like you would have yellow hands because that was probably on the same conveyor belt as the hands this part right here this gray part and you can see his face through the in the vehicle mode <laughs> so that is visible head syndrome isn't it technically even though it's on the inside but yeah, that's funny. I'm actually going to transform him back into vehicle mode or back into robot mode. Maybe? Should I? No, I'm not going to do that in this video. I didn't I forgot to show his accessories in his hands, but they flip around just like they show on the box. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. I think most people mostly watch reviews for size comparisons and people's initial thoughts and maybe pointing out different things that you don't really know until you have it in hand. That's mostly why people watch reviews. You know, you see the accessory, you know the accessory is there. It's just, the this Studio Series 86 line, I do want to see a lot more figures from. We really need Perceptor, Blaster, sorry for the delay there, I'm trying to think of this. I wasn't really thinking about Transformers most of the day until I went on the hunt for this. But there's, there's a lot that they could give us from Studio Series 86. And in Kingdom, we really need tracks. I have the Generations tracks, RTS, whatever it was. I picked that tracks up. And it's it's good enough. But I would really love to see that in Kingdom. It can't really be Studio Series 86 because he wasn't in the 86 movie. But Perceptor and Blaster were. I really want to see those two. And we are, I need Jazz. That's on the top of the list right now is Jazz. Cup. You know, and the rest, Scourge and them, yeah, I do want them, but they're not ultra high priority like this was. So I'm very grateful that they actually sold it to me at Target. A little early, you know, I'm pretty sure if you ask if they have it in stock and you'd be like, hey, um, I want this, they'll, they'll sell it. So <laughs> maybe, maybe you'll have a mean person at yours, but thank you to whoever that was at that fateful day, at that fateful target. I don't even have everything tabbed in. That's the thing is, a lot of these modern, well, I mean, Transformers throughout time have been pretty fiddly, but to get everything perfectly tabbed in, it's good enough. It rolls around and it's transformed. So there you go. In complexity, I would say this is a Voyager. In size, it's a, it's a slightly bigger deluxe, really, for the price point. But there you go, that's my thoughts and my review on Transformers, Takara Kotomi, Generations, Hasbro United, Studio Series 86, Hot Rod. If you're new, watch other videos, decide if you want to subscribe. Have a great one. Peace. Bye-bye.